Let's work on some defensive actions. We're going to work on the slip, block, and um, a step back or lean back or fade. We're going to be in our stance. Now I'm going to move my head to the side, so I'm going to slip. Now I'm going to move my head to the side, and I'm going to slip. What you'll notice here is that I'm going forward with the head, not to the side. And I'm only going the width of my glove. So if I imagine there's my glove on the centre line there, my head's just moving up that space, then comes back and moves up that space. I must make sure that when I go forward, I bring my head back like a woodpecker and forward and back and forward. I can't go forward and cut across the line, otherwise I'm more than likely walk into a punch. When I block now, you'll notice my hands coming up quite high and my hands coming up quite high. Higher than in boxing. The reason being for this is we have to worry about the elbow. If I just stick my hand here, an elbow could come over the top and hit me in the head. And that's not, that's not nice. Right. Also, you must bend your knees. You can't expect to block something while not absorbing to the ground. So when we block, we bend the knee. When we block, we bend the knee and the hand comes high. Don't bring the hand too high where you expose your middle zone. Now when we lean back or fade, my leg steps, my heel stays off the floor, so I'm sprung loaded, then I'm gonna just bring myself back. Normally we might take a new line and use a counter attack, but we're just drilling. Let's put this together then. Slip, slip, block, block, fade. Now let's go the other side. Slip, slip, block, block, back. And we can repeat this drill. Now when you're practicing your solo um, shadow, you could add this. You could go jab, slip, cross. You could go slip, left to it. So you can start to implement these um, practices individually. We're putting them together as a drill. You could go slip, slip. You could go block, left to cross. So they, all these techniques can be used wherever you like. Let's put it together as a drill. I just borrow Harry. Yo, Neil. So Harry's going to be his stance. Now you see there's the size of the glove. Harry slip. There's up the side of the glass, it touched his ear. Now, look, this is what I was talking about, where if Harry doesn't come back to the start and cuts across, he's going to walk into my punch. This would be not cool. So he slips, now he goes back to the start and then slips. Now see this action? Now I'm going to go left to it, so Harry's going to block. Boom. Now he's going to block my right. Now I'm going to come straight, so Harry's going to fade back. But he's used this step in this um, drill that we're doing here, or a lean back. That could have been against a kick if he leant back further. Now, he doesn't want to come straight back into the punch, but we can come back to guard for the drill. Or, now I'm going to throw my cross. As he brings his foot up, he's going to slip off to the other side. Slip. So he's going to bring his head back to the start, and then slip. Now I'm going to throw my right, so he's going to block. Boom. Now he's going to block. Boom. Now I'm going to throw my cross, so there's the fade. See, now I'm going to throw my jab, so he's going to bring his foot up and slip. Boom, slip, boom, block, block, and then back. Right, nice. So we've got a simple drill now that you can practice by yourself or with a partner. Nice one, man. So, when you do shadow, guys, one of the main things that you've got to think about is that you don't forget about your defensive actions. Slipping, blocking, stepping spacing, all these defensive skills that we're building up are really important because you can't just always be on the attack. Yeah, you've got to defend, counter um, within your shadows that you're thinking about all the components of what makes up fighting. 